Hi everybody and welcome back to the Franklin Sewing Machines YouTube channel. I'm Lucy, the shop manager, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the new Janome Memorycraft 9450 QCP. So um, we're going to get it out, have a quick look at the machine and just see exactly what comes in the box um, with this lovely model. It's a long arm machine, um, obviously got quilting in mind with the QCP um, what's the word? I don't know what it stands for, so it'll be quilting something professional. But um, let's have a look at what we get within it. So, Frank had already undone the tape for me. <laughs> so here we go. So we've got our manual with uh, DVD instructions and everything in there. And then we've got tons of accessories. Um, our foot control, which we are going to need. So I'll open that in a moment. And within here, we've got our AccuFeed feet and table legs. So that means there must be included a lovely large table as well. Great stuff. So that's already in the box with, with the machine. That's fantastic. I'll pop that down there. Our cover is standard as well. Because you, you probably won't be moving this around. So it is just a dust cover. Got a couple, two versions of um, straight stitch needle plates because um, this model does actually come with a new straight stitch foot as well. So you're getting two two needle plates within that as well. And this has got the pop on pop off system, so they're really easy to interchange. The cloth guide is also included. Power lead, obviously essential, and the knee lift too. Oh, it's kind of angled as well. That's a bit different to um, other other models. Interesting. Right, so let's have a look at the machine. Right. So it looks like we've got a it's like an accessory box or something. Here we go, yeah. Wedged into the centre. Ah, lovely. So that's where you can keep all of your goodies. Because there's quite a few, so it's nice that they've actually supplied that to go with the machine as well. Put that back in there. What else? There's something else in the box here. It looks like a um Oh, it's an additional a uh, thread cutter switch to go with the foot control. So that means you can have control over the thread cutting switch in the same place where you've got your foot control as well. So that's a, an additional plug in there. Fantastic. So once we get all these bits off of the machine. So I think we'll give it a quick setup, have a quick run and um, have a look at some more of these accessories as well. So if we... Uh, that over there just take off all the tape because so if I've got a power lead I think that we've already got one plugged in down here got power leads coming out of our ears here Let's have a look at these needle plates and also the uh, foot cutter switch as well. How that goes into the actual machine. Raise the needle bar slowly. There we go. Because we've got the uh, automatic presser foot lifter on this as well, another feature that you're getting with the um, 9450 is the um, a new uh, ruler work mode. So, um, and we believe that that is linked to the, the, the presser foot adjustment. Um, I'm not sure if the ruler foot's included. We'll have to have a quick look through some of the, more of the accessories to find out. So I've got the cable inside. Yeah. So yeah, they hide the cable within this lovely little twirly part in here, just in case you can't find it. <laughs> So that one goes there and then the actual thread cutting switch has its own um, actual port there. So that's where we'd add that into a common feature now on lots of long arm machines is actually having an independent thread cutting switch, whether that be linked to the main foot control or actually as an addition like it is here. So I'll pop that in. It's got a mind of its own. 
So I'm guessing that means you can actually put that wherever you like. So you could put it next to your foot control or actually have it on the other side. So stay, stops you pressing it accidentally. So you could have the, it's, the choice is yours with that, which is pretty good. Bit of flexibility. So inside the accessory packet here, let's see what we've got. Cause it does have that ruler work mode that we mentioned before, but I'm not sure if it actually comes with that. I'm just gonna tip this out and have a look. So we've got all of our like standard bits and bobs. There's our AccuFeed with, um, oh, is that with the, with the straight stitch? So that can work in conjunction with the straight stitch needle plates. That's nice. Um, but as standard though, this machine does have the nine millimeter stitch width. So you're getting the open toe um, custom crafted foot as well, which you know me do. Free motion foot. That's just a standard one. You are getting lovely ruler foot in there as well. Great, that's lovely. That's a screw on version. It screws on just in the same way as the actual free motion foot. Uh, a rolled hem. Your quarter of an inch with a guide. This is the um, standard straight stitch foot to be used in conjunction with the straight stitch needle plate. And another quarter of an inch foot, but this time without a guide. Another free motion foot, but with the open toe. That's good. We know that's a favorite with Claire, who does um, our resident free motion expert. She's always, always about the open toe. Blind hemmer as standard and an overlocking foot as well. And then we've got a couple of uh, another clear foot there, which is very similar to the custom crafted foot, but it's got, actually got the bar in the front as well. Um, and then we've got this zigzag, foot, number, foot letter QZ. So this is for your variable zigzags um, that you can actually do by using the knee lift as well. Um, a very a, a newish foot, I believe, from Janome um, for, for this model. But as you see, it's very small, so you've got loads and loads of visibility. And then a kind of more, a clip-on free motion foot as well. Number Q, letter QC. and then button sewing on as well. So a whole host of feet, as we can see, quite a range that's coming with it. Brilliant that it's got the um, ruler foot already included. That's a big bonus. That's the first time I've actually seen the Janome ruler foot. I believe this will be available independently as well. Um, hopefully coming soon. All right, let's pop those back in. Oh, almost forgot the zipper foot. Out of all of the really exciting quilting feet, you do also get the standard stuff as well. Let's pop all those back in there, don't want to lose anything. Lots of lovely feet to demonstrate. Pop the accessories over there too. And we could probably fill our, fill our lovely box up. So, um, the features that we've mentioned about that are kind of coming new with this machine, the, the, the straight stitch needle plates that we've got, the, the ruler work mode, including the ruler work foot, which is really useful to have. Um, we've got stitch tapering on here as well, which is really easy to actually activate. Um, the actual colour touch screen is um, very similar to that of its predecessor. It looks pretty much the same. And the lighting that we've got on this model. So we've got loads of light around the needle plate, loads on the arm, and also an additional pop-out light here too. So you're never gonna be short of good light for your, for your working area. The advanced needle threader as well. So we'll just have a quick look at threading up because it does have a, a super advanced needle threader. If we just pop a thread on here. I should use a smaller spool disc and then want that one there. So following the very standard kind of um, Janome thread path for these um, these bigger machines kind of under the metal part, it's all numbered. Um, so you've got your one, two, three, and then four for your take up link. Has that gone in there? Yes. Yeah. Oh no, not quite. Still anything that's gone in. Let me just do my needle up and down and get it in the right position. There we go. Got it now. <laughs> so 
So once we're down to number five, there is um, a, an additional thread guide just above the needle that we then need to use just there. And then we kind of slot it up into, uh, go above this number seven, and that automatically brings it into this little plus, um, sorry, metal V-shaped guide there. And then once you go around to number eight, which is your thread cutter at the side, and I just need to release the actual needle threader lever. There we go. Which is number labelled up as number nine. Bring this down. Oh, <laughs> typical. Always for the camera, never works first time. There we go. <laughs> so that's a kind of single-handed needle threader, really easy to use. Uh, we should probably wind on a bobbin as well, because um, we haven't got one at the moment. It's just bobbin winding, pretty much the same as on, on all other Janome long arms. Um, through number one, and around this back section here. Actually, there's kind of, what it seems to have is a lot more guidance using the kind of plastic casing. So f especially for that needle threader and also for the for the bobbin winder here. Um, so you're literally just kind of going around the plastic mechanisms and then going into the tension discs that are in underneath. But always make sure that there is tension applied to your thread. And that's, oh yeah, that's your thread cutter. So we can just go around here a few times, push it over, and then select start for bobbin winding. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, foot control. There we go. And we'll just wind on a bit of that. That'll get us started. So you can use that thread cutter then to trim trim off your bobbin really easily. And that just sets like all the other Janome drop-in drop -in bobbins. Thread out, there is a little diagram there to remind you as well which way it goes. So always thread out to the left and then down and around. And we'll see if this needle threader works first time this time. Oh, what am I doing wrong on that one? I'll have to give give that a practice. There we go. So we've got here a big range of stitches available, um, which we could go through in some more detail. Um, but yeah, you've got kind of all your utility stitches, buttonholes, eyelets, functions, and then loads and loads of decorative and quilting style stitches. Choose something like that. And then the tapering, really easy to apply. So the, these are um, a, a set, the actual set of tapering st stitches that you can do the tapering on. You've actually got their own kind of selection. There we go. And you can set all sorts of settings on it. But we'll just give it a stitch and see how it goes. So presser foot is automatically lowered. And at the moment we have got the haven't got the hover setting set up there, so if I touch that button there, now after we start and finish, that hover feature is now applied, and that's what we like about these automatic presser foot lifting machines. They make it so much easier and that will automatically lower as well. Lovely, sounds great. Let's try the press foot switch, the thread cutting switch. Ooh, great, there we go. And also we can just have a quick look at the, uh, how easy it is to change the needle plate. because this is a, a feature that a lot of people will be wanting to flick between, I believe. So, literally pops off, gives you a little warning to say that the needle plate isn't on, which we know, because we can see, and then pop it back on. And then it's actually telling you that the straight stitch plate is on and make sure that you're using the proper presser foot. So it's just guiding you, telling you what you need to do. And now it's only giving us a much smaller selection of stitches because it's sensed that we've got straight stitch needle plate on and we can't actually do all of the decorative stuff. So you can't really go wrong. 
Wonderful. So we'll have a little bit more of, uh, do a bit more detail another time, but this was the unboxing of the Janome Memorycraft 9450 QCP professional machine. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions, just let us know what you'd like to know about this model. Um, it's now in store, ready to demonstrate. Um, you can always give us a call, come in store, we're here ready and waiting. Thanks very much for now and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.